Hey everyone, welcome back. Ever wondered how to make a dancer look like they're moving behind a foggy glass? Let's build that effect in After Effects. To get started, go to the composition menu and create a new comp. Once you've named your composition, switch to the 3D Renderer tab, select Advanced 3D from the Renderer dropdown and hit OK. At this stage, I'm importing my 3D model with a GLB extension into After Effects. Just keep in mind, your After Effects version needs to be 2025 or later for this to work. After adding the 3D model to our composition, we make a few adjustments to its position and rotation to set it at the desired angle and location. Now we're creating a new solid layer, scaling it slightly larger than our comp size. We enable 3D for the solid and push it back along the Z-axis until it lines up with the back edge of our 3D model in depth space. To get a better view of the scene, I switch to Custom View 1, which gives me a perspective view of the 3D space. Now I switch back to the active camera view and create a new light. I set the light type to environment and make sure the cast shadows option is checked. A faint shadow is now visible. And to improve it, we first need to tweak the ambient light slightly to get the lighting angle just right. Next, I open the compositing options for the 3D layer and change the cast shadows setting to only. This makes the 3D object itself disappear while keeping only its shadow in the scene. I also go to the material options of the 3D solid and set accept shadows to only. This disables both the visibility of the solid and the lighting on it, making the shadow appear more clearly. At this point, I create a new white solid with the same size as the composition and place it underneath all the layers to use it as a background. From the Composition menu, we select Composition Settings, go to the 3D Renderer tab, and click on Options. Then we set the resolution to the highest level, which is double. This setting increases the level of shadow detail, resulting in more realistic and higher quality shadows. If the 3D object has one or more built-in animations, you can access them from the Animation Options section. In my case, the object includes animation, so I go ahead and select it. Now, I slightly adjust the scale and position of the animated 3D object to improve its appearance and framing within the scene. Now we need to animate the position of the 3D solid layer using keyframes, adjusting it forward and backward to follow the changes in the 3D object. This ensures the shadow stays clean and doesn't get cut off or misaligned. To improve the shadow quality even more, we can go back to the composition options and increase the render quality and smoothness settings. Just keep in mind that this will make your project heavier and might slow down your workflow. To simulate a glass look, we'll need a proper glass texture. I previously downloaded a grid pattern glass texture, and now I'm importing it into the composition. I add the tint effect to the glass texture layer and then pre-compose it. We set the layer's blending mode to multiply and if needed, we reduce the opacity of the texture layer. Now we create a new adjustment layer and place it above our 3D object layer so we can apply effects to the 3D object. Then we add the displacement map effect to this layer, select the glass texture as the map layer, and adjust the effect strength based on our needs. Then we add the tint effect to the adjustment layer as well. This allows us to apply custom colors to both the highlights and the shadows, enhancing the overall visual impact.
I really hope you found this tutorial useful and inspiring. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas I'd love to hear from you.